This is Jennifer Martin here, and welcome to Awaken the Heart. I am so happy to host you today in the presence of the Lord. So take a minute and just get relaxed and laid back and ready to receive from the Father today. And we are going to have a great time. To find out more about me, you could go to Contagious Love, I-N-T-L dot com. That is the website of Monday and I. So, Father, we just thank you for this time. Lord, we just thank you. Let's just invite Holy Spirit. And, Lord, I just thank you for this time. Let your word come forth, Lord, what you want to decree, what you want to share with the Awaken the Heart people. Father, let your word come forth on this session. Father, your word says that if we open our mouth, you will fill it. And I trust you and believe for you today to move through this time and move through this session in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, so much. Woo, these sessions have been wonderful, amazing. We had so many miracles happen last night, guys. Not last night, last week on the last Awaken the Heart session and the week before that. There has been such an outpouring of miracles and healings happening and the Lord's just doing it. And I believe that he'll do it on this session too. Or he's going to do it. These are his sessions. It's not even about Jennifer Martin. You guys know that. I never even had the desire to do these sessions. And the Lord started just coming after me through dreams to do these sessions so they're his desire for you they're his heart for you they're they're his thing i give it to him i give it to him we give it to him today and lord this session is yours today and i want you to have your way lord however you want to move to the people just touch them lord even as they're on there right now even as they're on the broadcast right now and you guys are just blessing my heart you're just blessing my heart i'm just gonna start crying because I'm getting so many messages from you guys about how these sessions are changing your life and it literally makes me cry. And you know, it's so important to me just to do it for one of you. You know, if one of you becomes awake, if one of you becomes touched, if one of your hearts wakes up, do you know that just touching one person can touch an entire city, you know? I think we don't think about the value of one very much and I think maybe we should start thinking about the value in the one. Because if, if I can wake up one person, if the Lord can use me to wake up one person, they can wake up their entire office area. They can wake up their entire building if they live in an apartment area. They could wake up their entire grocery store. They could wake up their entire city, right? Because when the fire hits someone, they have to spread the fire because fire spread. Woo! The fire has to spread. And if somebody is on fire, it's got to spread. May the fire inside of me spread to you today. May the fire of the Holy Ghost spread to you today. And may the fire of the Holy Spirit spread through you to all those that come around you. Let not one person be safe, but let every person that even comes near you be touched by the fire of heaven, by the fire of Holy Spirit. And right now, the Lord wants us to focus on burning for Him and letting the fire burn in us and not not becoming distracted, not becoming distracted, not becoming distracted by the things around us and our circumstances and even other people, but let's become distracted by the Holy Ghost. You guys know that I've preached about that. It's one of the sessions. You can go on the YouTube channel and find it. It's called Distracted. I don't think I, that that's been edited yet, so it's not public, but that's going to get edited soon. And that was so powerful about being distracted by the Holy Spirit, how the Holy Spirit wants to come and interrupt us and distract us wherever we are. Oh, I just love him so much. And he's just wanting to burn his fire in us and touch an entire, entire community, you know? It's like, what, Lord, what do you want me to do? You know, I keep talking about this on these sessions that, to help you in your life, what you're supposed to do, what you're called to do. And you have to ask the Lord, you know, God, what is inside of me? What do I burn with? What, what fuels my fire? What fuels my flame? And to me, it's it's for people to know how much he burns for them, how much he loves them. And something has happened to me, guys. I've been baptized with the love of the Father for his people. And I've been baptized with the love of the Father for his broken body. And, and I have an intercession to see division stopped in the body of Christ. It grieves my spirit and it grieves the Holy Spirit to see division in the body of Christ. And this is a word that I've released recently that I've preached on. That's been being edited and about to be released on my YouTube channel. 
And I wanted you guys to get this material because it's such a good message about how the Holy Spirit is calling his body together right now to be a community. The Holy Spirit is calling us to come together and stop allowing divisions and hate and anger and bitterness separate us from the love of others. Because Romans 8 tells us we can't be separated from the love of Christ, but yet we separate ourselves from the love of others and the body. And I feel the Holy Spirit saying that he desires that his body not be broken and separated. He wants his arms to come together. He wants his legs to come together. He wants the members in the body to come together and start functioning as one. Why? Why does he want that? Because we are a habitation of God through the Spirit. Because when we come together, unified together, one heart, one mind, one accord, then the Holy Ghost can move upon us and through us. There's something about the atmosphere that happens when a body comes together in unity and glorifies the Son of God. And then He can move through that place. And then the fullness of Christ, guys, isn't that what we want? The fullness of Christ? Because we want what He wants. And the Bible says that we have teachers and leaders, right? To equip the body of the saints. So what am I even here for? I have to ask myself, what is the final result if I am a leader in the body of Christ right now, leading Awaken the Heart Sessions? God, I have to stay focused on what your voice is really saying. And I've been feeling and burning and hearing the voice of the Lord saying, I desire for my body to come together as one and stop trying to function out of places of individuality. Although we move in individual gifts, there is a time for us to come together and support each other support each other so that we can all move. Why? We're being equipped. Why? Why am I equipping the body? Why am I here? There's an end goal that the fathers has, and that is that we would reach the fullness of Christ, that we'd all come together being equipped, teachers and pastors and preachers and evangelists and prophets are for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry until we all come into the fullness of Christ. So no matter what I'm doing, no matter what I'm talking about, no matter what I'm speaking about, this is the mission of our Father. He sent His Son to reconcile the world unto Himself that we would all be one. And Jesus prayed in John 17, Father, I pray that they would be one as you and I are one. And I feel that I am one with the Father. Do you feel that? Just lift your face to Him right now and just close your eyes for a second. Lift your face to Him like I'm doing right now and feel the oneness you have with Him. Feel him. Feel how close he is right now. Here he is. Here he is filling all of us. All of us right now unified by the Spirit. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. Endeavoring to keep the peace. Endeavoring that we would walk as one. Jesus said, I pray that they would be one. It must mean something to the Father, guys. I didn't know I was going to talk about this today. This is totally coming on the spot, Holy Ghost. It must mean something to the Father for us to be one. And I love him so much, and you love him so much. We love him so much. Don't you love him? He's so good. He's so full of kindness. He's so full of tenderness. We just love him so much. There's no words to explain and express how much we love the Father and love Jesus and love the Holy Spirit. And I love him so much. I want him to have what he wants. I want him to have what he wants. I want him to have every single thing his heart desires, starting with myself all that he wants in me, and he wants all of me. He wants every part of my heart. He wants every part of my brokenness. He wants every part of the pain. He wants every part, every part, every part of my life, my family, my business, my job, everything I do, my ministry. He wants every part of him, and I want him to have it. I want him to have it. Starting with me, I want him to have every part. And then I want him When I feel like I've given him every part of my life and I feel like I have, 
I feel like I have. And Lord, if there's anything that that's not completely surrendered, Father, reveal it to me in Jesus' name. But I feel like I've given him every part of my heart. And because of that, I want to help give him every part of everyone else's heart, including yours. <laughs> I want to draw you to a place where every part of your heart would just become completely surrendered and open to him so he could really fill you with the Holy Ghost and fill you with his love, fill you with his peace, fill you with his joy, completely satisfy your soul and then you have need of nothing and now everything you desire and burn for is everyone else coming into the fullness of Christ with you. Right? It's time for us to be whole and healed and that we don't need milk anymore because there's so many else that do. There's so many others around me and I'm even looking at people now while I'm talking. So many others around us that need the milk. They need the milk of the word. They, they are babies. They need to nurse from the milk of the word and get just that first nourishment and being born again and, and coming in to know their father and, and they need that milk. They need that milk, but I can't feed them milk unless I've matured myself, unless I've ate of the meat, unless I am ready now to be a mother, unless I'm ready to be a teacher, unless I'm ready and I'm matured and the fruit on me has grown and now the fruit can taste sweet to other people. And God, I know, and there's an understanding right now, guys, of the Father's love. And I've been releasing that, and you need to see this word. I just released it on my YouTube channel, the three signs of the this awakening wave. The three signs of this awakening wave. It's the most recent YouTube I just released. You need to go listen to it right now because I tell you what the Holy Spirit is doing, what the Father is doing right now, what he wants, his very heart, his very heart, and what he is saying that we are going to see right now. And we are going to see an outpouring of the Father's love. I, I, it's so it's such a good teaching. I don't want to give it all right now I, I, because it, it's such a good, sweet teaching that, that gives you so much meat into the heart of the Father. I want you to go listen to it, okay? You don't... You just subscribe for free. It's all free. All the teachings are free. Just go get in there and get fed. Have some meat. Have some meat from me. Please go go eat at the Lord's table and go drink from his cup and, and get what the Lord is saying right now because I am a prophetic right now voice to the body of Christ that I did not recognize for a long time, but the Lord has told me I need to recognize what I carry and I need to, to give it fully. And not hold back the talents that God has given me to watch over, but to give it fully, nothing holding back. I will not hold back my heart from him, and I will not hold back my heart from you. You will get my heart. You will get my genuineness. You will get me. You will get what the Lord has done in me. And the Lord is releasing his love right now. He's releasing that love, and he wants people to have it. He wants people to have it. He just wants to give it to them. He just wants you to have it. He just wants you to know how much he wants to give it to you. He just wants you to know how much he loves you. He wants you to know how much it's not a hard thing, but this is the simplicity of Jesus Christ. He just wants you to know it. This is the message of the Holy Spirit that we're coming into the fullness of Christ and that we're bringing other people into the fullness of Christ with us. And it's time to stop questioning and being in doubt of who we are and what we carry inside of us and the power of Jesus Christ inside of us and the resurrection of Jesus Christ inside of us. It's time to stop holding back and being intimidated and feeling inferior and drawing back in a spirit of fear. It's time to drop all this stuff and let it go and start releasing. Don't even let insecurity thoughts come into your mind anymore. My mind doesn't get to be in control. My mind doesn't get to control me. My mind doesn't get to shut down my spirit. Oh, no, it doesn't. My mind doesn't get to tell me I need to be a nice little girl and behave when I'm talking. My mind doesn't get to do that anymore because my mind for a long time used to control me and how I released. My mind did. It controlled me. Holy Spirit, out of his kindness and gentleness and sweet wooing voice, drew me out of that place of complacency and caused me to accept him inside of me. And the greatest thing that I have been learning right now in my walk with the Lord is that grace has been extended to my life. And grace has been extended to your life. Grace is being released right now. And
because of grace. Grace is how I was saved. And grace is how I stay in the Holy Spirit. Grace was what drew me to the Father. Grace is what saved me. Grace is what's kept me. And grace is what keeps me pressing on. It's grace. Grace is what causes me to preach. Grace is what helps me to preach. Grace is what moves through me to heal the sick. Grace is what causes the miracles I see. I have no ownership. And as soon as we understand this place of grace that we live in, we move and we have our being inside of this place of grace, inside of this place called salvation through Jesus Christ, when we truly understand that it is all him and none of us, we will have no doubt to move in the power of the Holy Spirit. Because I don't have anything that I can add to him. I cannot add to the power of Jesus Christ. Isn't that nice? I have no responsibility except the very words that Jesus spoke himself, and that is to only believe, and I will see the glory of God, which is why I only believe for you right now. I only believe for you right now to get your miracle. That's all I have to do. I have to only believe, God, that you will heal them. Father, I only have to believe that you're healing broken bodies right now. I only have to believe that you're doing miracles in their lives right now. And you are because I believe it. You are. You are, Lord. You keep healing people on these sessions, and I give them to you to heal your people because this is about you and them, not me. It's between you and them, not me, Lord. And you want to connect with them right now where they are. Just put your hands up to the Father right now. And Lord, where they need a fresh baptism of fire, I thank you, Lord, for just filling them right now with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, fresh baptism being filled right now. Lord, right now where they need a touch in their body physically, Lord, I thank you right now for taking pains, taking, taking diseases, taking sickness right now in Jesus' name. Everything that nags them, Lord, you're taking it right now in Jesus' name. We curse the root of every bit of sickness right now. I curse the root of cancer. I curse the root of disease. I curse the root of every demonic assignment. I curse the root of every generational curse right now. I command it to loose off God's people and let them go. Father, I thank you right now. The chains are breaking. I thank you, Lord, that fire is coming upon people right now. I thank you, Lord, that their pain is leaving right now. I thank you, Lord, that the root of the sickness is gone right now. We curse the root of it. And I thank you, Lord, they are loose from it. You've let them go. And they are free, God, to walk. Free to walk. And the sunset free is free indeed. And your people are free through the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, glorify your son upon this broadcast today and heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that guys, you need to start checking your bodies right now. Pains have lifted. You need to start checking right now. Some of you are going to go back to the doctor. You're going to get a report that the, the, the cancer is gone. You're going to get a report that the sickness is gone. You're going to get a report that your body, where it shouldn't have functioned or where pieces were missing, are actually returned. Missing pieces. New body parts are coming into your bodies right now in Jesus. Jesus name. If you were just healed in this broadcast and fire hits you and the pain just left and you're able to move or something happened or there is a cyst or there is a tumor that you could feel on your body. I want you to feel for it right now. If it just left, if that thing just left, if something just happened in your body, I want you to type me on the screen. I want you to type me and I want you to tell me what left. I want you to type me and I want you to tell me what changed. Me. Cyst. Me. Tumor. Me, spine, me, neck, me, knees, me, ankle, me, re wrist, whatever it is. I want you to type it on the screen right now. Type it on the screen because the Lord's going to confirm his word on this session. He always does it. I know he's going to do it. He always confirms his word by what? Signs following. So if what I said on this session is truly the word of the Holy Spirit and he wants to back up that word, he wants to back up what he is releasing, he wants to back up that his love is about to pour out, he wants to back up that he's glorifying his son, he wants to back up that his mission is to unify us in the Holy Ghost right now and to break the power of division off of our lives so that we can all come into the fullness of Christ. If he wants to back that up, then he's going to do miracles right now. If you just had a miracle, I'm telling you to check. I'm telling you to check. If you just had a miracle, because there's people that just got miracles and healings, I want you to type me on the screen. 
want you to type me and tell me what happened. I'm going to give you guys a sure you email us. Make sure you come see us. Make sure you connect with us. Get on my page. Get on my YouTube channel. Find where we're at because, guys, I'm going after the fullness of Christ in the body of Christ. This is my mission. I don't just want meetings so I can get meetings. Listen to me now. That was never my goal. I don't care about that. I care about the fullness of the heart of the Father. And I want to go after it. I want to see everybody healed. I want to see everybody set free. I want to see hearts set free. I want to see bodies set free. This is my mission. Please call us and have us into your region. Please. And let us release what the Holy Ghost has put in us so that we can reach a broken people and a broken body because it's what he burns for and I want it. In Jesus' name. Sparta, Tennessee. It's only a little, like an hour from Nashville. On Sunday at 2 for a major revival meeting. We're, we're advertising in the newspapers, guys. We're advertising everywhere. Thousands of advertisements are going out for this session because we're believing for the lost and the broken and the sick to come in to see God touch their lives. Okay, I love you guys. Share this broadcast, please. It's very important to me. Thank you so much for all you do. And remember, we are the church of God that are waking up to who we are. It's time for the church to awaken. And it's going to start when she awakens her heart. I love you, and I'll see you next Thursday, 3 o'clock Central.